because the sacred's not supposed to be represented in, in images, but mm -hmm. still, you, you get the sense of the divine just by looking at it and being in the presence of it. We cannot go in because it's prayer time. I mean, we can't go inside the mosque, but we can go in to see what's, you know, a certain part of it. Okay. It's only certain times that it's open for us to go all the way in. And now is the time. <laughs> of your kind to come back here and over 400 years. 
Okay, so this is not a small thing we're talking about here. Okay, also one other just point of interest, if you notice the structure, the marble or granite looking structure behind, those are machetes. You notice they come down and that's a curvature. It's in the design of a machete, which is uh, something that, you know, people just, they typically carry here, but there's also uh, royal implications for that particular design that's behind him. Thousands upon thousands of people from Jamaica, from the Caribbean and the United States who live here already. And some of them came back when he called. Okay? Yeah. So just remember that. And on, on top of the voice, there was quite a few other um, Africans in the diaspora that he gave citizenship to, and, and it hadn't been done up until uh, a few months ago. The, yeah, the, 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 the former president gave citizenship to another 34 um, African Americans and Caribbean. Uh, mm -hmm. So, it's, it, 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 I mean, he, like I said, he, he started. He started it all. Without him, the whole continent that you're looking at would would not be what it is. Mid 20th century is Africa's. <laughs> this decade is the decade of African independence. Forward then. To independence, to independence now, tomorrow, the United States of Africa. First thing he said, that's why they wanted to get rid of him, and they did on the program. Because he was uniting all of Africa, you know, on a Guinea, uh, uh, in Guinea, uh, Carnegie, everybody who had a revolution going on, he was behind it. The Gold Coast was, I mean, no formal, formerly the Gold Coast was behind that because he wanted to see a United States of Africa. All the other republics that are there now essentially uh, got their independence in 1960. Just from one after the other, they started coming. And you know, shortly after that, or maybe simultaneously with the fight here in Ghana, was the Mau Mau uh, fight in Kenya, where they actually went to war, you know, against the British uh, to get their independence with Jomo Kenyatta. A lot of the leaders came through Ghana. A lot of the leaders were training for their guerrilla wars right here in Ghana. Uh, Guinea-Bissau and, and Emile Cabral, case in point. Cabral was here, they knew each other. Uh, and Kuma knew Lumumba, he knew uh, Kenyatta. Uh, these guys weren't just isolated, they were talking to each other and they were cooperating with each other, even the South African group man, as far in terms of giving shelter and giving refuge, it was done here in Ghana. We welcome again to the United States, which he knows so well, the first citizen of Ghana, President Nkrumah. Mr. President, as this is our first meeting, since your assumption of responsibility as the President of the United States, may I be permitted to offer you my personal and hearty congratulations on those of the government and people of Ghana. And so, you know, today is AU Day, and he, you know, it's AU Day across the continent, but he was the person who started, you know, the organization of African unity, which turned into the African Union that we know today. There is a new African in the world. That new African is ready to fight his own battle and show that after all, the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
Okay, I think today, this morning, they are taking an exam. Uh, P. Bete. For, for P. Yes. N. Yes. We write with our N. S. Snake. Snake. Yes. Snake. Yes. Uh, T. Tiger. X. There's only a few words that start with X. I can only think of one. Xylophone. Xylophone. We as black people were not supposed to go to certain parts of town. We were not supposed to go. We didn't go to the same schools as our white friends and, and so on and so forth. That was the system. You know about that, right? Okay. So, however, my parents, my teachers, uh, the deacons, deaconesses in the church and so on, they said to me, you can do anything you want to do. Like we're telling you right now. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anything you want to be because no one is better than you. That's what I heard all the time. Not only that, no one is better than you, but we are depending on you to do something, to do service and to represent the community and bring something back for your family and your community. That's, that was in, in my head all the time. the lady of the house to home. <laughs> I have here a fine assortment of assorted useful, useless utensils. Uh, they are all designed to take the work out of housework. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's guaranteed, yeah, 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 to answer every household need. And it's wonderful. I just can't find the words. <laughs> to say. So, in terms of what you just saw, what you, what Professor Usu, Miss Rose, and Mr. Tamayan have been showing you is how to technically manipulate the camera, how to um, focus on the subject, uh, how to capture that subject and so on. But the part that I want you to understand and focus on is that you, the manipulators of the camera, those who are organizing the story behind the images that you recorded a little while ago, those people always have an agenda. Do you know what I mean by agenda? I think it's what Dr. Joyce talked about, the gaze. Whose perspective are you telling the story through? Because if you're a very good editor, if you're a very good camera person, and you're not telling your story, you're doing a very good job at telling someone else's story. You're sabotaging yourself. All right? So, so don't just be the tool. Be the director of the story. Be the producer of the story. What did you learn from us you think you can take into your future? important too, right? Because you, you have to know how to present somebody. 
And so I hope that you guys um, really keep doing this. I suggest that at least uh, when school is in session, at least once a month. Create, create a TV show. So we have so let's say it together. One times one wow. is one. Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. We'll just leave sequence one. Right here the setting. I'll just leave this like that. Perfect. Alright, so right now you can see You see how the screen changed right here? This screen? I told you this is the screen where you're actually gonna see your video created. So when as soon as your sequence popped up, you see a black screen. It always starts off black screen. But when you have footage, you can just drag it into the sequence and then you can start editing. But we have to wait for that. But for now I'm just gonna show you how to navigate through the software. Okay? Any questions so far? Mr. T, if it'll save you time, mm -hmm. if you need to, you can open an existing. Oh, you have one? Okay. Yeah, if you go to uh, file uh, open recent, then um, I have a few uh, new ones. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Is it recording? You should yes. see the red button. Yes. Give us the zoom from one character to, uh, not necessarily one character, from closer to end. I'm sorry, from closer to further. Okay, wide shot to tight shot. Okay. So once that all um, goes through once, um, then we'll check it out. So let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Stop your record. Hi, my name is Dora. I'm the leader of the US Admin Chief, and today I learned how to use the camera. Thank you. You are ready for our sake. Thank you. My name is Abel Ugonati. I appreciate you. Let's be done. Your class knows we thank you for your time with us. Having us have to love and take in the heart to give us because best teachers eat from the heart, not from books. Sometimes the smallest things take up most room in the heart. Even though we have not spent much time with together, but we do enjoy the little things in life. For one day, we may look for back and we realize they will be things. Moreover, for the teacher is, is more important than what she teaches. It takes a big heart to help sharp little mind. Yeah, you have my phone.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He sang back to me. I love him. Thank you. Oh, My name is uh, Alex, and my parents called me Kofi because they said, yeah, because I was. They said I was born on Friday. Uh, in Ghana, we have three of such castles. We are standing within one, Cape Coast Castle. It's a staircase that leads up there. Then look at the archway; it's written 1894, and it is already 300 years old. About 300 years old. Then we have the other in the what, Accra, the Christian Ball Castle, you know, built by the Danish around 1665. Then we have the first to be built around this part, you know, at Elmina, by the Portuguese, 1482, a place as a headquarters, place of residence, then to conduct their business in local products. So that's why they built it. So they traded in gold, as you might have heard the name, Gold Coast. But let me also inform you that in those days when they said Gold Coast, it didn't encompass the entirety of modern day Ghana. Only towns along the coast where gold was found. So in those days we had three component parts of this modern day Ghana. We have Gold Coast along the coast, the Ashanti Kingdom, then we have the Northern Territories. It was after the British had taken over went to governors that they brought this path together to form modern day Ghana. Those goods that were doing the exchange were local products, gold and other local products like salt and other things. Then somewhere along the line, you know, when the Americans and the Caribbeans were founded, then goods involved in the trade changed to human beings. Why human beings? Because they said there was the need for human labor. No, in the Americas and Caribbeans. Because in those days we didn't have countries. But we have what? Tribes. And those tribes were known by their linguistic backgrounds. Therefore, when you move from one tribe to another, you know, when the language changed, the other tribe became your enemy. So they were fighting for space. You know, fighting for land, for rivers, for pasture lands. And when you captured you know, your enemy, you sold him out. And once you were brought in here, the conditions under which they lived 
were so horrible that up to this day people describe them as what? Inhuman. From the journey up there, you know, if we are brought from the northern parts through Roma half region, Ashanti region, and the central region, then you had the opportunity of having a last bath. It's a river, now they call it a slave river. Right, so we have a number of dignitaries visiting us. When you look here, the German US president and the family were here. 2009. The wife believes that her ancestors went through here. That's why when they visited Ghana, visiting the late president at Amunus, they came down here. And those who saw the man, they said after the talk, he wept bitterly. I don't know what your emotions, your feelings are going to be like. We have had occasions where we have blacks and whites together, starting a tour nicely. Somewhere along the line, then they begin shifting lines. No, separating. But the question is, no, do we keep on to that? Okay, so let's continue again. And then get to the left side. Oh, okay. The left side is Because when you refuse to eat and then you died, a burial ground was the ocean. Oh. Take it to the laboratory. Proved to be what? Human toilets. Urine, blood, sweat, and particles of food. That's why they left this portion here. This portion here, that when one is in doubt, that person can take anything from here. And so they push them underground. Continues about 70 meters long. And this compartment also served as a sorting room where only those who were healthy, those who were strong, fit, were selected to continue the journey. Those that were weak or showed signs of sickness were pushed in here, either to recover or to die. To reach the occasion, a new race are laid. Therefore, when you come in, you are attached. Nothing forbids you from laying one. Unknowingly, one of your ancestors might have passed through the ordeal. This was another observation room, and it was not open like this. You only look through, peep through to see whether the space were there, and then it was closed. Source of light was that hole there. So the greatest phenomenon underground was darkness. Therefore, keeping you here for three months. When you came out, you could be partially blind. So they had to use these things lying there, known as cannons. And we have the cannon balls. Let me use, let me use them, I call, call them guns and then they are bullets. Where they use for the defense purposes. And when they shot at it, you know, it went as far as you know, three kilometers, a ball. And the ball left the cannon, hit the side of the oncoming ship or boat, made a hole in it, and as it got closer, water entered it, and then it sank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there. This one here? Yeah, you can, try, you, know, you can start from here, maybe, maybe yeah. then, then continue one from there. Yeah, yeah, try. try. Yeah. 
Is it is it heavy? Is it heavy for twenty pounds? You can try this one. Yeah, huh? yeah you could yeah, you huh? could be young guy. This one's heavy. <laughs> there are no stairs here. We can neither go in from here nor come out from here. So what it is that having me branded, identified, before they push you inside there, you no, know, they push you underground. So a guard stood here and made sure the numbers that entered there were right. I said there are no stairs here. You can neither go in from here nor come out from here. This one continues. But this shallow because it's getting to the end. Yeah, so the tunnel ends here. If we were to enter, we would have come out this way. That was the slaves came out this way and initially went out this way. So this way out, this way out. But when you look over, you saw that there are rocks. The castle is built on those rocks. So because of those rocks, bigger ships will not get closer to the castle. Therefore, the slaves were initially put into smaller boats, ferried into the deeper seas where the bigger ships were waiting. Then they transferred them in. Therefore, when they felt the need to satisfy themselves sexually, some of them went to town for the local ladies. Others decided to use the female slaves who were kept down here. So they came down from their residence up there, came and looked among the female slaves, picked out the attractive ones, and if you yielded to their pressure, they gave you a thorough bath, sent you up there, sexually abused you, and brought you back. Those who resisted were pushing here. They locked you up, used the drainage system as your toilet, they gave you food through here. They spent no less than seven days here. The purpose, the intention was for you to change your mind. That the next time when you come, you give it. Remember that once you enter this arena, or this venue, there was no way, there was no way you were going to escape. Who were you going to call? And who was going to respond to your call? You don't talk about human rights. And most of the treatment given to those who resisted, when they came out and narrated to their colleagues, they found that the safest way out was to give in. And the staircase here, into smaller boats, and they were ferried away. And as they did so, the officials came down from this door, up there, leaned over this wall to see how they were being packed. I'm happy you've been to the main museum. You saw the artist's impression of how they were packed. And someone describes that the way booths are packed on a shelf. Up here we have a door of return. Why now door of return? Remember this say about coming back home, Tracing their roots. Therefore, in 1998, there was a special ceremony where two slaves who had died, one, a lady from Jamaica by name Krista, and one from US by name Samuel Carson, in collaboration with their relatives. Their bodies were exhumed from through Kotoka Airport to Accra, then to a town here called Abanze for a special ceremony. After the ceremony, their remains were put into a boat through this door. Now they are buried at Asim Manso another slave market. Remember 500 years ago, they were compared to pass through a door of no return. But now, the two have symbolically come to open a door of return. Because of miscommunication, lack of communication, they couldn't understand one another. So they were fighting among themselves. They were underfed. So the little that came, they were fighting for the food and all these things. Therefore, when they found you giving them trouble by their standards, you no, know, they came to push you inside here. There were three of such doors. Look at the thickness. Two, there are no ventilation holes. Three, no food for no water be giving you. The frontage here where there was some amount of ventilation was reserved for their guards who misbehaved. And that guard was kept there for a few hours and brought out. But the inner room, which went through two doors, you know, were meant for the slaves. So we shall go in and see how the situation looks like. But assurance, we are coming back. So we'll take the lead.
Be mindful of your height. They didn't just come because they were strong and they could stand the diseases and the heat. They had the skills and the knowledge. Because cotton doesn't grow in Europe. Sugar cane doesn't grow in Europe. Rice doesn't grow in Europe. Oh, indigo doesn't grow in Europe. None of those products grow in Europe. They are grown and cultivated here on this continent for 5,000 years. So the people who went over, yes, they were strong. Yes, they could stand the diseases perhaps, but they also had the knowledge of how to process those crops, how to grow them, how to dig those canals. So for the rice in South Carolina and Georgia and so on and so forth, how, the, how to process the sugar cane on those plantations and make rum and so on and so forth. They had the knowledge. So they were specially ordered from certain regions. You said they were branded, that's right. You know, in other parts of the, of the West Coast, you know, like um, um, Liberia and Sierra Leone, they were brought specifically mail ordered almost because they had the skill in rice growing. Okay, so it's important to know. And because of their skills, what they built in the in, in just the United States alone equals in, into the quadruple millions of dollars in terms of wealth and riches that was built. So let's talk about the tragedy that was done and the ongoing suffering and the lack of resolution of human and humanity. It, it also, I tell my students, follow the money. I went on a ground and showed you the third compartment, that observation hole. So you look at the linkage. Church, observation hole. Church, observation hole. So while you are sitting there, singing holy, 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 then you come to look whether your goods were safe. Our guide says, Welcome to everybody. So, we're going to go uh, eight kilometers out down into the lake, and we just left the um, point of embarkation at Calabi, as I mentioned. So we're going to uh, travel eight kilometers out into the lake and then we're going to land in Calabi. So we're going to uh, travel those eight kilometers on this lake which is called Lake Nock Nock Lake. The lake is very poisonous, it's the reason for which we are going to land. And when we land in the lake, we have a lot of fish. So they, they uh, fish, the lake is full of fish, so they, uh, it's a, an industry that people who live on the lake uh, engage in. Ils étaient allés pour moi s'installer sur une presqu'île. La presqu'île existe actuellement, mais ils ont quitté là parce que la terre est devenue trop, mais il n'y a plus d'animaux à tuer. Donc, on est en ce moment-là. On a parti aux petits-enfants à faire des petits générales. Non!
So, um, just observe the thing, the, the work that the, Dr. Joyce has done up until this point. And now, how they, they worked with Benin Espoir, the group that gave the prizes yesterday. So if you could stay connected to Professor Joyce uh, and uh, follow the connection with Hope for Africa and Benin Espoir, the young the student group from yesterday, if you continue down that same, uh, along those same lines of cooperation, then that would be uh, very important because Benin Espoir uh, comprise, is, is, um, affects all the students everywhere. Them to take the government to go to jail. That's why That's why we need to stay for the people. Somebody needs to do that. And people say it's good. That's why. So not only here, you have to If somebody has been bad, you used to go there, take all his vote from him down to vote. No. Very busy. My brother, Warren, will you stand for the yeah. We never get to the plane when the op is hungry. We have one time on the council. By the time the, the sea will be hungry, we never enter the sea. God will give you long leave. God will give you long leave. You will be up. You will be up as all of your aim. You will go forward for your duty, for your job, or your business. Yeah. So he still he says it's, he's got more time to spend on the throne. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> Integrity of the spiritual system. To follow that, he's, a, he's responsible for that. It's integrity. Et aussi, il arrête les films que les gens fabriquent sur le vaudou pour dire n'importe quoi. Il les arrête. When, when people make films that talk about all kind of crap like we see over there, Hollywood, you know, the woo 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 stuff. Ou bien, he, he takes those. Le film est en train d'attaquer les églises, attaquer les vaudou, attaquer les, euh, les musulmans. It, no matter if they are attacking Christianity, no matter if they are attacking Islam, or they are attacking the traditional, he, they have to come to him. They can be arrested and brought to him. He takes care of them. And so he's going to destroy the, the, the negative stuff. That the rest you have with the state, the prison. Right. Okay. So it's not that he's, he's responsible for the integrity 
of, of spirituality. So here in Benin, you have things that you can see that are positive. We, we, we emphasize the positive, that's what he stands for. There is a conscient with music that accompanies the divinity of the law. There are certain uh, there are certain songs that you uh, sing to music that go along with the divinities of the ocean of the sea. Mm -hmm. There are chansons and the music that you do to invoke the divinity of the mer. And and uh, others of the of the sea of, of yeah. the yeah that invokes the divinities of the sea invokes them. Maintenant pour la divinité des forêts c'est des chansons de guerre. And for the divinities Même, of, uh, of the forest, divinité, it's, the thing, it's the music of war. The divinity of war. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Chanson de guerre. Et vous avez vu, je vous ai envoyé les photos, quand Victor a allé inaugurer notre place au bout, tu as vu des, des machettes en haut, tout le monde, on chante, yeah, yeah. Comme, comme à la guerre. Tu as vu? Pour le spectacle. The, the, the divinity of war. Voilà. Donc, ce qu a, la question qu'il a, qu a posée, c'est une question de vrai professionnel. It's a very professional, very profound question. <laughs> We all born the same day. No, quelle question? No. Si nous sommes nés le même jour, si chacun est né le même jour avec nous, on n'a pas le même âge. C'est ce qu'il dit. If we were all born the same day, we have the same age. We weren't born the same day. Il dit on développement, pays Amérique vont développer au Cameroun. Je vois. Il y a combien d'années maintenant les États-Unis sont indépendants? So. Créé et puis indépendant. Think about it. How how many years has it been? Since the United States was created and, and has been developing. Et voilà ça. Et voilà le petit Benin. And look at Benin. Nous sommes, nous sommes indépendants il y a maintenant 54 ans. We've been independent for 50 years. 54 ans. Nous nous tournons au monde. Raison pour laquelle je dis que nous sommes plus petits. So that's why I say we're real small. We're little. And you guys are great because look how many years you've been independent and, and developed. Okay. Right. Is that his right. that's, what, that's what he means. That, that's all important. That's what he means. And you want to know if you were going to be um, uh, yeah. faithful to the <laughs> One temple. Oh, so you caught me. <laughs> all for Golden Throne. Throne comes from Ghana. It's one divinity from Ghana. You see? People who own temple, look at their pictures, their address, their everything. Temples. Yes. One, one temple. If you don't have right. authorization from him, he lock it.
going to be a good one. I'm going to When there are like, you know, issues that are kind of like, you know, controversial, and he likes people to come and to debate the efforts that you have made, that we are making, so that we have demonstrated that we are human beings like everyone else. That's victory. So God will help you for your kids and to become, you know, heroes and to do better than what you've done. That's why the Pantheon was created, you know, the, uh, the you've been there? Okay. Yes. Okay, you've been there, yeah. All the black heroes. The memorial? So he wants to extend it, actually. So that we can have like 1,200. The Negro African Pontoniers. They want to make it into a real, real memorial, actually. Yeah. And who is willing to live in Benin and Africa? So what I do is what I do. I don't do it for me. I do it for a cause. So what he's doing is not doing it for himself. He's doing it for a cause. Yeah.